Alrighty, I've been sitting on this for a really long time. All of you, well not all of you, some of you, are very curious about what could potentially be open during Winterfest. I'm finally ready to give my final prediction on Canada's Wonderland's Winterfest for 2019 season. Um, and I've done a lot of examining of rides, seeing if anything's testing, specific areas, overnight construction lights, stuff like that. So my honest prediction is going to be that you're gonna enter into the International Plaza, you're gonna have that giant Christmas tree in the flower garden, um, and then all the shops are gonna be open, they'll have uh, maybe some actors at the front. Then you'll go up into the mountain area and you can walk around the mountain. I have a feeling Guardian is for sure gonna be open. It's mostly an indoor coaster and it'll be easy to manage and use. And I don't think it'll valley. So you're gonna have Guardian open. Maybe it'll be like help Santa shoot the machines that are trying to take over the workshop, something like that. Some sort of tacky, cheesy storyline like that. Um, and then you'll be able to walk up into maybe a bit of Whitewater Canyon area. Um, if they choose to include something over there, um, I have a feeling Kidsville will not be open. So then you'll be forced to come back down towards the bat um, and then Planet Snoopy will be open. So as you can see on this map, this is what I'm predicting. I honestly think that this will be the case. Um, now the lighter blue portion, the waterfall section, I have a feeling that's where ice skating is gonna take place. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I have a feeling ice skating will take place there. I don't think Wonder uh, Canada's Wonderland's fountains are actually retrofitted um, for skating. I could be wrong. It could be the fountains as well, but I have a feeling it's gonna end up being the mountain skating rink um, for skating. I feel like that would be perfect for pictures. Um, it's such a beautiful setting. Why not take advantage of it? Um, again, uh, you're gonna have rides like Thunder Run, Wonder Mountain's Guardian open. You're gonna have all the flat rides potentially in Medfair open. Um, I don't think we're gonna have any major roller coasters open. I think all the flat rides in Planet Snoopy will be open. Ghoster Coaster will most likely not be open. I think that thing can't handle winter at all. Um, again, Wonderland Theater is most likely gonna be open to shows. Anyone could predict that, so that was easy to predict. Um, for us, that's what we're gonna assume. I have a feeling that they're gonna use the ice or the little pond in Medfair as well and that little ship for a show as well. They put out the dock um, for Halloween shows as well and I have a feeling we'll see something Winterfest related there. Um, and honestly, I've been predicting for a while that they're gonna reopen the walkway underneath the mountain. Um, maybe they'll use some of their haunt structures in the mountain for some sort of like Winterfest themed walkway or something. Um, so predicting that. So again, you're gonna have Medfair, you're gonna have the mountain area, Whitewater Canyon and Planet Snoopy um, is my prediction for that. Um, I'm also think that they're probably gonna do some sort of like drink and food festival type area. Um, I noticed that the Aurora Winter Festival did that in Toronto. So I have a feeling that Wonderland may want to may want to test that out as well for our Winterfest. So we might see some sort of drink and food kind of festival area in the park at some spot. The area that I could see it working the best would definitely be the mountain area, maybe down near the fly with all that concrete as you see in the blue area. There's a lot of concrete there. Could also do it in the drop zone area, drop tower area, because that's not going to be open for Winterfest. Somewhere where there's a lot of concrete, um, you'll see some sort of like maybe some food trucks or some uh, staged drinking areas for the adults. Um, but this is a kid event, so it's going to be mostly kids attractions and kids, you know, arts and crafts and meet Santa. You know, they're going to have their themed characters. I couldn't be more excited for Winterfest. I'm actually so excited. Um, but yeah, I think that's my my prediction. I think this is a pretty good prediction. Again, when it comes to Winterfest, they like to keep people into a secluded area. That's why I drew this map. Um, there's more rides in Planet Snoopy that are better fit for a wider range of um, age. So I think that's going to be the area they use. Kidsville is a little kind of like there's two uh, the roller coaster Silver Streak there and the rides there are kind of like mm, Planet Snoopy would be a better fit. So I think this is a pretty good prediction. Comment down below what you guys think. Again, Yukon Striker is most likely uh, probably for sure not going to be a part of Winterfest. We would have seen testing. Um, or signs of testing being in February if it was. 
Um, so uh, with no testing occurring in February, I'm going to go ahead and say it will not. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Have a good one, guys. Bye.